Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 50 iPhone tricks that every iPhone user should know in 2020. Now, if you have watched all of my iPhone tricks videos, which I do quite often, you might know a lot of these, but some of them might even be new to you. These are tricks and features that are hidden within iOS and are very very useful now before i get into that i just want to ask you guys if you haven't already make sure to go ahead and subscribe for more videos so let's get started here are 50 iphone tricks that every iphone user should know you might not know but you can add some really cool effects to your live pictures just swipe up on a live picture and you will have a bunch of effects right here you will have loop right there you will have bounce and long exposure as well. Now, if you want to bring it back to default, just tap on live. When setting an alarm on your device, you of course can snooze the alarm when waking up in the morning, but you will have to reach for your phone and find basically the button on the screen to tap snooze. But there is an easier trick to do that. All you gotta do is just tap one of the volume buttons, either the volume up or volume down, and just like that, you can snooze your alarm. If you want to quickly disable your face ID for whatever reason, all you have to do is just press five times on the power button and it will take you to the emergency call. Just tap stop right there, stop calling. And as you can see, when it goes back to the lock screen, face ID will be disabled and you will have to enter the passcode in order to open the device. You can react to an you can, you can react on iMessage within an emoji and any face expression that you want. So you can see this right here, of course, that will mimic your face expression and you can do face expression just like that one I did right there. So all you have to do is just while making the expression, let me just do one here. Just tap and hold on it, tap and hold for a bit and then you can drag it up here and you can go ahead and react to any iMessage with your face expression. Now with iOS 13, Apple has added a new feature called voice control. Now, if you have used voice control, you know that it's pretty cool and what you can actually do with it is reboot your device. Reboot device. And as you can see right here, as easy as that, you can reboot your device. Now with the newer devices, without a home button and all that, it's pretty hard sometimes to reboot the device. You can do that using voice control. When downloading a huge file on Safari, you can tap right there at the arrow and it will show you the progress, but just on megabytes. If you want to see it on percentage, you can go to the files app and go to the location where you have your downloads and you will see the percentage of the download. On the keyboard of your iOS 13 device, if you go to the numbers, this on earlier versions as well, and tap and hold one of the symbols right here, you can see that it will show you extra symbols. On your keyboard, when you go to your Animoji, you can quickly move here simply by swiping right here at the bottom of the Animoji keyboard. On the Spotlight Search, you can also search the Files app. So all the files that you have saved on your Files app can be searched directly here from the Spotlight Search. You can also preview them so even if there is a video, you can 3D touch on it and it will actually play it right here on the Spotlight Search. Now if you're searching for weather for a particular city, you can go ahead and 3D touch on it and it will give you more like details regarding the weather for that current day. Now when you're doing something like writing a text or anything you want and you want to have like the action menu, all you gotta do is just tap and hold with three fingers and you will see the menu right there at the top where you will have the undo, redo, cut, copy and paste buttons. On the iMessage app, when you're at the messages list, you can 3D touch on any of the messages and you can quickly reply to any one of them directly from here. This is very, very convenient, very easy to just quickly reply to anyone you want. Also, here when you're on the messages and you want to select one of them, you don't have to go like to the edit button and all that. All you gotta do is just tap with two fingers and you will enter this like edit mode and then you can go ahead and easily select any messages that you want. On the calendar app, when you go to a day, so just tap right there, you can see like the current date, you can easily and quickly add an event for that day. Just basically tap on the clock the hour that you want to add the event so just three to touch there and you can quickly create a new event any live photo that you take on your iphone or have on your iphone can be turned into a video tap the share button right there scroll down and you can save that as a video clip on your iphone you can create like a movie like a memory that you get automatically on your iphone you can create that 
from any of your albums. Just open an album, tap on the name of the album, and you can go ahead and create a movie directly from there. So you can add it to the memories and you will have that movie automatically created. Of course, then you can go ahead and edit the length and also the mood of the movie. On the notes app, you can quickly take a look at the attachments that you have on your notes. So just tap at the three dots right there and tap view attachments and then it will show you a list of only the attachments that you have within your notes. On the notes app, you can quickly move any like row of text that you want. So just select the text that you want to move and then you can go ahead and tap and hold it. And you can see it will detach there and you can go ahead and move it anywhere that you want. Now on the notes app, if you have a list of things like this that you have to do or anything like that, you can go ahead and move them simply by swiping like this. So you can move them forward or backward. So if you basically like you're finished done something that you have on the list, you can move it forward. You can save any of your notes to the files app. Just tap on the share button and just go down here and you can go ahead and save any note that you want to your files. If you want to quickly scan a document, of course you can do that with the notes app. All you got to do is just 3D touch on the notes app and you can go ahead and scan a document directly from here. Now with iOS 13, Apple has moved the update section on the app store. The apps you have to update, it's a bit harder to find them, but of course there's an easy way to do it. 3D touch on the app store icon and just tap updates right there. While on the update section on the app store, you can quickly dismiss this page simply by making this L gesture just like this and dismiss the page as easy as that. On the phone app, on your contacts list, you don't have to enter a contact in order to call them or message them. All you gotta do is just go ahead and 3D touch on any of your contacts and you will have all the options here like basically if you have an email messages calls all that they will be listed here and you can of course go ahead and do that directly from here on safari you have a bunch of tabs open here but you don't have them aligned the way you want you can of course go ahead and rearrange tabs just tap and hold one of them and you can go ahead and change their position that's really really cool you can also peek at tab so you want to look at something you're not sure if that's the tab that you want to open you can just tweak the touch here take a peek at that tab now of course if you want to open it you can just force touch just touch a bit harder and you will be able to open it if you want to close tabs you can do that quickly simply by swiping here from the right to the left now, if you have a ton of tabs open, you can tap and hold the bookmark icon and you will be able to actually add bookmarks for all the tabs that you have currently opened. When browsing the web on Safari and you want to quickly move backwards or go forwards on the history, you can just tap and hold any of the arrows, whether you want to go backwards or forward, and it will show your history and you can quickly jump to that part. Now on the tabs view, you will have a search bar right there at the top. So just swipe them down, you will see the search tab right there. You can search for your tabs right there. So let's just search one here. So if I have searched this one, I can go ahead and tap and hold the cancel button and it allows me to close the matching tabs for my search. Now, if I have a tab already open in the background and I'm trying to open like the same website, it will show me switch to tab, which means that I can switch to the tab that it's already open and not open the same website on two tabs. If you search for a number on Safari and you get like the number here, like I've searched for the Verizon customer service number, you can 3D touch on that number and it will give you a ton of effects here. You can call them, FaceTime them, send them a message, or just copy the number out of Safari. Now you might not have noticed this, but on your emails, you will have two little arrows at the top right there. These allow you to switch from one email to another. So just go backwards or forwards on your emails as easy as that without having to go back to the inbox. Now when creating a new email, of course you will have this tab right here to create it. But if you tap and hold it, it will show you also the drafts that you have saved. You can start a new message or you can continue on any of your drafts. On the email app, you have swipe actions, like you can choose what you do when you swipe from the left to the right or the other side from the right to the left. But if you go to the settings of email, you can go ahead and choose swipe options. So you will have the swipe there, swipe left, swipe right, and you can go ahead and choose what action you want to perform with that swipe. 
you can quickly swipe to flag any email from here. So just swipe like that, tap flag, and you're good to go. But if you swipe and tap more, then you will have the option to flag it and also change the color of the flag. When taking a screenshot on your iOS 13 device, you will have a really cool feature here. So if you tap the plus button, you can go ahead and add a magnifier if you want to just like focus on something on the screenshot you can do that with this magnifier and you can also add extra ones like you can have two or three magnifiers on the same screenshot you can also easily share any screenshot so once you take it just go ahead and 3d basically just tap and hold it and you can go ahead and quickly share it directly from here when you're on the files app and you're within a folder you can tap and hold on any blank space and you can tap on info and it will show you all the information that you need to know about that folder so everything its location the date it has been created and modified all that will be here you can also quickly scan any documents from anywhere on the files app just tap and hold anywhere and tap scan document if you have like pictures on their files app and you select them then you can tap these three dots right here and you can go ahead and mark them up and you can also rotate them directly from here as easy as that so that's really really cool also you can create a pdf out of those pictures on the files app you will also be able to drag like files just like you do with the icons on the home screen so just 3d touch and drag a file like this and you can go ahead and move it like change its location to anywhere you want on the files app you can quickly find any file you want by adding tags to that file so just tweak the touch on any file and tap on tags and you will be able to add any of the tags that are like preset here on ios or you can add your own new tag and then you can use that tag to search for those files that you have with the same tag on any picture that you have saved on the files app you can 3d touch and then tap on info and this will show you like detailed information regarding that picture the resolution the size and all that stuff will be right down below the picture assistive touch on ios is mostly used as a home button like this usually with iphones that have a home button and it's broken but you can also use it to do other things so enable assistive touch and then you will have here the custom like actions so just go to single tap and what you can do here is for example let's choose screenshot so from here just tap the assistive touch and you can take a screenshot as easy as that if you use chrome on your iphone like a lot of people do you can search for any image just copy any image from your photos library and just go ahead and paste it on the search bar and it will search for that image on the internet when you enable the trackpad on your iphone you can move the cursor anywhere you want on the text and just tap with the other finger when you want to start selecting text on any row of text on ios you can double tap to basically select the word or you can triple tap to select the complete row of words the new volume hood of ios 13 is pretty cool you might not know but you can just basically use it and then bring it back simply by swiping from here so there it is it's gone i can swipe here and it will come back and i can do that i believe in just the first couple of seconds after it's gone and then you won't be able to do that so that's it for this video guys these are 50 iphone tricks that every iphone user should know in 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys on the next one